Long Play 4K Review, Silent Hill Homecoming Silent Hill, Homecoming was the first fledged game in the Silent Hill series, which was made not by the original developers from Team Silent, but by the Western studio Double Helix Games. Fans were extremely unhappy about it and disliked the game in advance just for the fact that the continuation of the Japanese series of psychological horrors was entrusted to the Americans, who had previously developed mostly average quality games based on movies. It seemed that at some point the publisher himself stopped believing in the game. Initially it was announced under the name Silent Hill V, but closer to the release they decided to remove the number 5 from the title and give the subtitle Homecoming. European release was postponed for half a year in comparison with the American one, that personally made me very angry at that time, imagine the situation, that the game you want to play has already been released, people play it on the internet, post videos, discuss it, but in your region it won't be sold for half a year. And on Steam Homecoming was downloaded without any protection at all. That is, without any protection at all. Pirates didn't even need a crack to run the game. You could just copy the original Steam version and run it on another computer. Because of all this, it seemed to me at the time that Konami didn't care about the game at all. But that was then, and now I want to take a fresh look at Silent Hill, Homecoming and see if my opinion will be different from what it was when the game was released. I'm not only interested in talking about my impressions of returning to this game, but I'm also interested in hearing the opinions of other people who have also played it recently, after a while. So leave your opinion in the comments. The fact that Double Helix has often developed games based on movies has clearly not gone unnoticed. Even now, after a while, just turned on Silent Hill, Homecoming I again, immediately caught my eye that the opening scene is copied from the movie Jacob's Ladder. Literally five minutes later we are shown the transformation of the world into a rusty version of it and it looks exactly the same as it did in the movie based on the game. Looking ahead, I'll say that the whole game in principle, even now, I was perceived as if it was not a continuation of the game series, but a sequel to the movie Silent Hill, 2006. The developers did not limit themselves to borrowing a few scenes, but also adopted the design of enemies and, in some ways, even the plot. For example, according to the lore of this homecoming in the city is not snowing, but ash because of underground fires, as it was in the movie. The short-skirted nurses are also taken from the movie, as well as the image of the pyramid-headed man, cult adherents in gas masks, and much more. Plot But what has definitely changed the opinion after a while is the plot of Silent Hill, Homecoming, Back when Silent Hill, Homecoming 5 was just coming out and when I was in real pain for what was going on with the series, my view on the story of this game was very much washed out by the fact that in Silent Hill, Homecoming American developers spit on the original canon. Oh, and in general by the fact that the narrative here is more straightforward, less atmospheric and more dynamic than in other games in the series. A separate hatred was caused by the fact that the pyramid head here is in no way connected with the plot and does not fit into it, but appears several times for the sake of fan service. And with an image from the movie. But now that the bias is gone and such emotions are gone, I like the plot. It keeps the intrigue, I was interested to know about what is happening in Shepherd's Glen, the twists and turns, if we take away from the fact that it is a partial repetition of the cliffhanger of Silent Hill 2 were surprising, and the whole story with the cultists looks like this part of the story was written by Team Silent before the closing and these developments were transferred to Double Helix. Combat System What aspect of the game still makes me suffer is the combat system. It's unbearably crooked. Back when Homecoming first came out, I heard a lot of complaints from fans that the new combat system, with the ability to roll to dodge an enemy's blow, took away the tension from the game which is unacceptable for a horror game. But now I disagree with that. Tension is created, but it's created by the fact that it's almost impossible to fight without losing health. Rolls often don't save you at all, it's not Dark Souls, where if you hit the dodge button in time, you're invulnerable. And as a result, I was in tension all the time, but besides tension I had a great hatred for the local combat system. 
On the other hand, there is an opinion that in horror games it is normal that the combat system is crooked and you are afraid to meet enemies, but in the previous parts of the series it was compensated by the fact that you can just run away from them, but here it is difficult to do it. The rest of the gameplay. And there's nowhere to run away, because the locations are corridors. Those who are not the first time watching the channel know about my hatred for corridor games. And this is the main disappointment for me in Silent Hill, Homecoming even now, many years later. There is no exploration in the game at all, there is no fledged city, but only a few streets, there are no fledged buildings, on which you move freely, and there are just corridors on which you go forward. There are no interesting puzzles either. I'm doubly offended that not only Silent Hill, but also Resident Evil, in which the village was even worse than Homecoming, the puzzles are even dumber, and the levels are almost as corridor-like, except for the village itself. Technical Problems I'd like to talk about technical problems. On PC the game still works barely, it may crash, the sound may be buggy and the game card, apparently due to two high resolutions of modern monitors, may be displayed crookedly. Conclusion What can I say in conclusion? Putting fan feelings aside, I like Silent Hill, Homecoming more now than I did 13 years ago, but that's only because back then I thought it was just a creature that shouldn't exist. And the opinion has changed from so awful to the fact that it's a game you can play or replay, but only if you're a fan of the series and miss it, but the other games in it are boring.